Good evening. We warmly welcome you to the SSLST Parents Orientation Program for the academic year 2021-22. We hope you and your family are safe during this pandemic. This short presentation comprises of a few segments which are Introduction of the key personalities of Stafford Sri Lankan School, Panel of Teachers, General Procedures and Policies, Curriculum Overview, Facilities and Achievements, COVID-19 Precautionary Steps, New Normal of Teaching and Learning. First, let's get to know the key personalities of the school. Starting with the Chairman, Mr. Sanat Kohovilage, the Acting Principal, Mr. Sampath Varnakulasurya, Non-Academic Staff, Mr. Lalit, Manager Administration and Finance, Mr. Suranga, Manager Operations, Mr. Maduranga, IT Administrator, Ms. Darshika, Principal Secretary, Ms. Pavitra, Human Resources, Ms. Jayani, Student Affairs, Ms. Aloka, Transport and Textbooks, Ms. Nimesha, Receptionist, Main School, and Ms. Sandra, Receptionist, Pre-Primary. Sectional Heads Ms. Sabina, Pre-Primary Section Ms. Malika, Primary Section Ms. Nimali, Middle Section and Ms. Lakshmi, Upper Section Heads of the Departments Mathematics, Mr. Mohorti Commerce, Ms. Jan ICT, Ms. Angel, English, Ms. Navodya, Humanities, Ms. Nimali, Aesthetic, Ms. Iresha, and Examinations, Mr. Raja. Panel of Teachers. Hello everyone, I'm Nimali Dias. I teach Mathematics for Year 8, A, B, and C. Thank you. Hello everyone, I am Nishari Kaskundra. I teach General Commerce for all grade 8 classes. Thank you. Hi everyone, I am Asha Jaipali and I teach Year 7 and 8 French. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Sikhar Bikhan Sinha. Artistry in the Sadhana, Sinha Lab, Dejiwe Vichayi Vichayi Hi everyone, my name is Kachiwe Nilayale. I teach Singhana's first language for grade 7 classes. Thank you. Hello everyone, I am Fawaza Fadir. I teach science for 8A and 8B. Hello everyone, my name is Gary De Silva. Uh, I am the class teacher of grade 8B and I teach English for all grade 8 classes. Thank you. Hello, I am Keshara Kankarangi. I teach art for year 7 and 8. Hello, I'm Valentine. I teach Christianity to grade 8. Thank you. Hello, I'm Ms. Eresha Tindura. I teach Kandyan dancing and Buddhism for all year 7 and 8 classes. Thank you. Hello everyone, I'm Raja Kumar Sivakumar. I'm the class teacher of year 6D. I teach geography for year 7 and year 8 classes. Thank you. Hello, I'm Valentine J. Paul. I teach Western Music for grade 7. Hello everyone, I'm Angel Edward. I teach computing for grade 8A and B. Hi, I am Nandima Gurugi. I teach science for A7A and B. Hello everyone, I am Mahika Jaisingha. I teach English for A7 and I am the class teacher of A7A. Hello everyone, I am Dasi Vedakarna. I am the class teacher of A8D class and I teach civil as a second language for A7 and A8. Thank you. Hello everyone, I am Anuja Prabhakaran. I teach Tamil as first language for grade 7 8 classes and English for grade 7 8 classes. Hello everyone, I'm Adrian Nakamura. I teach history and history for grade 7 and 8 and I'm the class teacher of 7C. 
Hello everyone, my name is Priyavadana Rajendra Prasad. I teach computing for year 7 A, B, C. Thank you. Hi, I'm Fatima Ramla Rajdin, teaching science for year 8 C and D. Hi everyone, my name is Sudhi Padila. I teach Western music for grade 8 and I teach PCRT for grade 7. Thank you. I am Dinusur Ayinta, teach assistant in Brahmin and Dharma. Hello everyone, I am Shanti Nado. I am the librarian of this school. Hi everyone, I am Hiroshini Ekanaka, lab assistant teacher for senior IT lab. Hi, this is Fatima Padina. I teach Islam for 7 B and C classes and grade 8 C and D classes. Thank you. Hello everyone, I am Ms. Nami Pereira. I teach mathematics for year 7 and year 8 D. Hello everyone, I'm Sara Kabir and I'll be the Arabic teacher for all year 7 and 8 classes. Hello everyone, I'm Muhammad Nada and uh, I teach computing for year 6 and uh, year 8 and uh, also I'm the class teacher of uh, year 8C. Hope to meet you all soon and uh, thank you. Hello everyone, I'm Sajatha and I teach literature for year 7 and 8. It is important for you as parents to know some of the school's procedures so that you will know what to do and who to contact when in need. First, let's start with the admission procedure. Every year, the window for admissions will open during March and April and you can apply online through the link on the school website. Age limits and fee structure are available on the same website. Secondly, the textbooks. School offers parents a number of options to purchase textbooks for your child. You can buy from our suppliers in Sri Lanka in case you visit Sri Lanka in the summer. You can also order online and the books will be delivered to you through EMS. All information regarding this is available on the school website. For those who wish to reuse books, we offer the option of borrowing books from another student. Information in this regard will also be communicated to you on the same textbook circular which will be communicated to you early March every year. Next is regarding transport to the students. School operates a fleet of buses to some selected routes. You can make a request to the transport in charge, Ms. Aloka, who will then process your request depending on the location of your house as well as the availability of seats. Next, school uniforms. Our official uniform supplier is the Uniform House, Qatar. All the details about them, together with the location map, is available on the school website. Moving on, in case you want to meet the principal, vice principal, sectional heads or a class teacher, we kindly request you to arrange an appointment by calling the landline of the school. This will save you a lot of time and travel. We would also like to remind you that school strictly discourages any parents visiting school in groups. The next segment is on the student's code of conduct. We want to remind the parents that we have set very high standards in our academic achievements as well as the discipline of our students. Therefore, we count on your support to preserve our reputation as an educational institute with an impeccable disciplinary record. The student code of conduct is included in the SRB and we want to draw your attention to a few important points. That's their dress code, attendance and general behavior. Some of the uniform rules have been relaxed during this period, however, 
students still need to adhere to the guidelines given in the SRB. Also, students are not allowed to bring mobile phones to school and they are not supposed to use the school's identity without permission on any social media platforms. Cyberbullying is strictly prohibited among the school community. Any violations of the code of conduct will result in disciplinary action. Firstly, any incident will be recorded in the class disciplinary book and parents will be notified of any serious breaches. If students do not wear the proper uniform, school has the right to send them home and also school will confiscate any items students are not supposed to bring to school. Disciplinary actions will range from loss of break time to even expulsion from school depending on how severe the offence is. We expect parents to work closely with the school so that we could avoid any unpleasant situations for your children. Overview of Curriculum Year 7 and 8 Key Stage 3 starts in Year 7 and the school implements the Pearson International Lower Secondary Curriculum at this stage. In Year 7, students will study English, Math, Science, History and Geography, Computing, French, English Literature and PE as mandatory subjects. They will also study Second Language, Religion and Aesthetic subjects as optional subjects. The subjects available for second language are Sinhala Sri Lankan National Curriculum, Sinhala as second language for international schools, Tamil Sri Lankan National Curriculum, Tamil as second language for international schools and Arabic language. The subjects available for religion are Buddhism, Christianity, Hinduism and Islam. They can also choose one subject from music, dancing or art. When they move to year 8, a new subject, general commerce, will be added to the subject list. We follow the Pearson International Lower Secondary Curriculum from year 7 to 8 for four of the subjects that is English, Math, Computing and Science. International Lower Secondary Curriculum includes digital and hard resources for students, schemes of work, lesson plans and progress tests for teachers and also training programs for the teachers. School invested in this curriculum with the objective of benchmarking our teaching as well as student performances with international standards. Since our students select their stream to major that is either science or commerce in year 9, we send our students for the ILS science achievement test in year 8. The test is available in the May-June series only. Payments for the examination should be made by the end of January. However, the students will be allowed to sit the examination only upon teacher's recommendation. In the past, we have achieved world prizes at this ILS achievement test and we expect our students to continue to maintain those high standards. Next segment of the presentation aims at educating you on the facilities available at SSLSD and some of the recent student achievements. Stafford Sri Lankan School Doha is committed for providing the students with the best facilities possible. You can see some of the facilities students are able to enjoy at SSLSD on these slides. We have three fully equipped science laboratories. We also have two IT labs for the senior students and for the juniors. School also has got a resourceful library as well as a separate reading room for the junior students. In terms of sports, 
The school has provided the students with two basketball courts, a volleyball court and a football pitch. There is also a practice net for cricket. The school also consists of a canteen, prayer room and a parents waiting area. Moreover, the school has a special education unit for differently able students. We are happy and proud to announce that our first aid unit recently got upgraded to a licensed first aid unit. It is now registered as a first aid unit under the Ministry of Public Health. As you all know, last year we expanded our school to a new campus behind our old school campus. Lower reception, upper reception and the rainbow class were initially relocated to this new campus. This year, year one classes have also been successfully relocated to the new campus. Let us now take a look at some of the highlights of our academic achievements. During the last two years, Edexcel did not conduct public examinations physically. The final grades were decided based on a mark awarded by the school. In 2019, when our students last sat for the public examination physically, some of our students achieved Qatar, regional as well as world prizes. As you can see in these tables, SSLSD has always produced exceptional results at public examinations. And even in this year, SSLSD has proven its excellent academic standards. These pictures show the top achievers of I primary, I lower secondary, IGCSC, AS and A2 examinations. That is a quick summary of the achievements the Staffordians made in the history in the recent past COVID-19 precautionary steps. You can now have a look at the safety measures in place against the pandemic. Furthermore, we have arranged isolation rooms, sick rooms and wash areas for the students in response to the MOPH requirements. During the pandemic, we expect parents to be responsible and strictly follow the guidelines specified by the Ministry of Public Health. Please adhere to the policy of staying at home if unwell for students with symptoms. Inform the school administration about positive cases in your family with proper documentation. Educate your child about the importance of all precautionary methods. Avoid crowded areas or gatherings. Ensure your child is vaccinated and be aware of the developments. And now you can take a look at some of the practices we have introduced as the new normal of teaching in response to the pandemic. New normal of teaching and learning. As you all know, Stafford Sri Lankan School has always been successful in providing the best education for our children, regardless of the various challenges that has come in its way. And this pandemic is no exception. Let us walk you through the virtual teaching and learning mechanisms we have successfully implemented. We use Google Classroom as our e-portal and Zoom app for live streaming the sessions. In order for your child to follow the lessons, 
you need to provide them with a device which can be a laptop, tablet or a desktop. You also need to make sure that the device is equipped with a microphone and a web camera. Other than that, you need to have a web browser and the Zoom app in your device. Also, make sure your child has a suitable environment free from disturbances for following online lessons. As you all are now aware, we use our own email domain at sslst.education for our Google Classrooms. Every student is given an email address by the school, which begins with the admission number and ends with the above domain. The above email address is to be used to log in to Google Classrooms from this academic year until your child leaves the school. As for Zoom, you will find your child's Zoom link for each subject in the classwork tab for the respective class posted as a material. Kindly note that the same link will be used for all the Zoom sessions of the respective subject throughout this semester. Please ensure that your child joins the Zoom session on time to avoid missing any lessons. The child should join the Zoom sessions with their admission number followed by their first name as the name. Any names which is unidentifiable by the teacher will not be admitted to the session. Also, it is important that your child's video is on throughout the lesson and the microphone is unmuted when the teacher requests your child to do so. Your child needs to be punctual and regular in online attendance. And they also need to respond to the teachers actively during lessons and also complete the work assigned on Google Classroom promptly. These are challenging times for you as a parent. We take this opportunity to extend our sincere gratitude for the support you have extended and we look forward to receiving the same cooperation on your part by encouraging your child to attend Zoom lessons and to complete their work shared on Google Classrooms as well as by providing them with a conductive environment for learning. Please be informed that if you wish to receive your child's Google Class progress summary, you may provide your email address to the class teacher to receive the same weekly. That's the end of the SSLST Parents Orientation 2021. On behalf of the school, let me wish you a pleasant evening.